Hello friends, in part 3 of my series of videos on splitting the middle term of quadratic polynomials, I must tell you I am going to take up 4 questions in which the coefficients of the polynomial will be quite large. On seeing these kind of polynomials, most of the students feel that it is very difficult to split the middle term. But if you have followed the videos which I have posted day before yesterday, and yesterday and conducted two live streams of 10 questions each, you can find at least 25 to 30 questions on the channel in the last two days. And this video will add four more questions. Now see the coefficients in the first question, 21, 17, 30, large numbers and normal method which is taught at school level will not help you here. So 36, 55, 21, another complicated problem followed by 33, 62, 35, lot of uh, questions in which the coefficients are above 30. See here, 10, 61, 91, so the, again the coefficients are quite large. But if you have followed the previous videos, I have posted day before yesterday and yesterday, these things will consume only 20 seconds time for getting factorized. So let's see how uh, to solve such problems having large coefficients. See, 21 can be factorized as 7 and 3. And 30 is obviously 3 into 10. Now, whenever we have such a situation, we need to see, uh, okay, this is not prime factor. You can split this into 5 and 2 also. I'll write it in the prime form like this. Now, see the largest number here is 7. So, 7 can be 1 term and 3, 3, 5, 2. This is going to be a very large number. The sum and difference of 7 and this big number will not give you 17. So I will not combine 7 uh, with 3, 3, 5, 2. So I need to have a big number and a small number so that I can have the solution. See the largest number here is 7 and the largest number here is 5. So I told you in the previous live streams also and in the videos also. Try to combine the largest factors here and the here and here. The product of those two numbers might give you the solution. Let's check here. So 7 into 5 is 35. And what about the other numbers? 3 into 3, 9. 9 twos are 18. Do you see that the difference of 35 and 18 is actually 17, which is the exact thing you require. The middle term coefficient is 17. So the two numbers which you have selected should either have a sum of 17 or have a difference of 17. So in this case, our purpose is solved by just selecting the highest number from these factors and highest numbers from this factor. So 7 and 5 is 35, 3 into 3 into 2 is 18 and the difference is 17. So factorize it now, 21x square plus 35x minus 18x, see 35 minus 18, so plus 35 minus 18. And now take the HCF of 21 and 35 it is 7. 3x plus 5 will be left behind and all both the terms are negative. So we'll have negative common and 18 and 30 has a uh, HCF of 6. So again 3x, this negative converts to positive because we have taken negative common. Now you see 3x plus 5 is the common term in the bracket. This is the checkpoint. You need to have the same factor in both terms. So final answer for the question, 3x plus 5 will be coming once and the other factor will be 7x minus 6 which is outside the brackets. This is the factorized form of the first question. Isn't that easy? It has to be because you have observed the previous videos and learned that method. So if you have not seen it, please see the previous two parts also. Now see here, this is 36 and 21. Now let us try and factorize this. See, 36 is 9 into 4 and this is 7 into 3. Now, if I take the largest numbers, 9 and 7, 9 7s are 63 and 4 3s are 12, then their difference is 51 and the sum is 75. So, it is not solving my purpose. So, I must have something different here. So, let's see what different. If I combined 9 with 7, I obtained a wrong solution. So, I will combine 9 with 3 now. So, let us see 9 into 3, 27 and 4 into 7, 28 and what is the sum of 27 and 28? It is 55 but I need to check the sign also. I need a minus 55. See the product of these two numbers? It is positive whereas the middle term is negative. So, we need to have both negative terms here. That is very important to understand. 
So minus 27 and minus 28 will give me the final solution that is minus 55. So let me just factorize it for you now. So 36 x square minus 27 x minus 28 x plus 21 and now take common 9 x. So 4 x minus 3 minus 7 4 x minus 3 giving you the final form of this question. The two factors are 4 x minus 3 and 9 x minus 7. That is the second question. So let's have two more questions. See in this case we have 33 as the coefficient of x square and the constant term is minus 35. So let's factorize this 11 and 3, factorize this 7 and 5. So I'll combine the largest with the largest here 11 into 7, it is 77 and 3 into 5, 15. 77 and 15, do you notice that 77 and 15 the difference is 62 which is exactly required in the center here. So again utilizing that method of multiplying the highest numbers I have got the solution. Whereas if you multiply 33 and 35 then factorize it, it is going to take at least one or two minutes to get factorized. So friends do it like this 11 and 3 are the factors of 33, 7 and 5 are the factors of 35. Take the highest here, take the highest here, 11 into 7 gives you 77 and 3 into 5 gives you 15 and the difference is 62. That is what I wanted. Now the product is negative and the central term is also negative. So the higher number will be negative and the smaller will be positive thereby giving you minus 62 as the required middle term. So we have factorized it, 33x square, we have minus 77x plus 15x minus 35. So this is 11x common, 3x minus 7, 5 common, 3x minus 7. So 3x minus 7 is the first factor and 11x plus 5 is the second factor. So let's have the final question now. 10, 61 and 91. Very easy question but the coefficients are very large. So most of the students will leave this question as it is. 10 can be factorized as 2 and 5. This is 13 and 7, 13 7 is 91. So let's see now, the highest here is 13, highest here is 5, so 13 into 5 is 65 and what remains is 7 to the 14, 13 5 the 65 and 7 to the 14. So on combining these two, we are not getting the exact factorization of this, why because 65 plus 70, uh, 14 is 79. And difference is 51. So I need a 61 here. So this is not solving my purpose. So I will not combine 13 with 5. I will rather combine 13 with 2. Now let's see. 13 and 2 gives me 26. And 7 and 5 gives me 35. And do you notice here? The sum is 61 which is required as the middle term here. So my factors are 26 and 35. I just need to see the sign now. Product is positive. Middle term is negative. So both will be negative. So, minus 26 and minus 35 are the factors. Just put it here 10x square minus 35x minus 26x plus 91. And now take common 5x, 2x minus 7 minus, okay, this is uh, 26 and 91, HCF is 13. So, you have 2x minus 7 again. Finally, giving you the answer 2x minus 7 and 5x minus 13. So friends see the questions looked quite complicated but by following a particular shortcut, by following a particular method these things will become very very easy for you. Friends these are the questions you need to master in order to succeed in competitions as well. As you can observe in the first question we had the product as negative but the middle term was positive. So whenever the product is negative and the middle term is positive then the greater one will be positive and the smaller one will be negative whereas okay this question we have the product as positive and the middle term is negative in this case both will be negative why because negative negative when they add together they will give you a negative but when they multiply together they give you a positive in this question these are all different questions which i have taken okay these two questions were quite similar, product is positive and middle term is negative, so both are negative, here also both are negative.
Now see product is negative and middle term is negative. So it will give you the larger number as negative and smaller as positive. So make a note of this important concept and I'm sure you can solve all the questions of splitting the middle term very very easily after watching these videos which I have posted on the channel and participating in the live stream which I conduct at 7 p.m. daily. Friends, thanks for watching all these videos. If you like it, do share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel.